Hey boys and girls, this is Miss Carter. We are going to read this book. It is called Thumbtacks, Earwax, Lipstick, Dipstick, What is a Compound Word? by Brian P. Cleary. Over here it tells us compound words. It's a word made up of two or more shorter words. So here we have the word thumb and the word tax, and we put it together and it makes the word thumbtacks. Here we have ear and wax and it makes the word earwax. We've got lip and stick which makes lipstick and dip and stick which makes dipstick. Compound words are single words with other words inside like sweat pants, cowboy, horsemanship. This one actually has three words put together. Upstairs or worldwide. Sometimes when we're reading we might see a big long word then find it's made of smaller ones, as in this one, blue bird. So sometimes if we see a long word, we can cover up the end of it and maybe find a smaller word inside of it that we do know how to read. It's partly blue and partly bird, two shorter words, you know. Hello, my name is Bird. And here's his blue paint can. Same with armpit, undershirt, outrun, and overgrow. You'll cut these big words down to size when you see what they're made of. Words you can pronounce and spell and aren't a bit afraid of. Here it says huge scary words and he's so tiny. But once you realize that you can cut them down to size, those words aren't so scary. Words like haircut, dragonfly, cupcake, earring, and freeway, drumstick, lipstick, chopstick, and dipstick. That's what you measure the oil in your car with. Seasick, seafood, seaway. All of these are compound words just like 14 and foreman, earwax, thumbtacks, and grandmother. Both longtime and longshoreman. So that's three words together. Compound words are mostly nouns, that's people, things, and places, like sunshine, ballpark, bulldogs, third baseman, and shoelaces. Airport, airplane, runway, they're also compound nouns, along with crosswalk, sidewalk, backyard, earthquake, and touchdowns. Other times a compound word will tell about a noun, like overworked or handwritten, uphill or underground. So these are describing the nouns. These compound words are adjectives and here are more for you. The downtown mall, downtown is describing where the mall is. The noonday sun, it's going to be hotter noonday than it is at other times. A book that's overdue. Uh-oh, it's late for the library. Still other compound words can help express some form of action. Like Connor liked to daydream when the class worked on subtraction. Or Molly used to jaywalk, but now she understands. So jaywalk is when you walk across the street when you, at a place where you're not supposed to, where they don't have a walking space for people. And Brendan outplayed everyone in both the marching bands. So outplayed and understands and jaywalk, those are verbs. When first you see these compound words, they may seem quite demanding, but break them into smaller ones and then you'll be outstanding. So, what is a compound word? Do you know?